We have an update now to a story we told you about earlier this week. A young soldier's journey home is nearly complete. 80 years after he was killed in World War II. Tonight, I talked to Staff Sergeant Jack Coy's family about what it means to finally have answers and closure. It's almost time for lights out. Love, Jack. Future pilot, I hope. The words of Staff Sergeant Jack Coy to his mother in Oregon just months before his plane was shot down in Germany. Don't forget to write to me and tell me how you are and everybody is. His mother tried to hold back fears she had for her 20 year old boy, just a kid off in a world war. They say we should only write cheerful letters, but I'm going to tell you I miss you terribly and are anxiously waiting for the end of the war so you can be back with us. 80 years later, it is finally time for Jack to come home. We're all very proud of him. Jack wasn't even supposed to be on the plane that day. He was filling in for someone else as a tail gunner, the guy who protects the plane from rear attacks. And the reason he was in the back of the plane, he was a, a, a little guy. He wasn't a very big guy and he fit in there. Jack's remains and others were recovered by Germans and buried in a local cemetery. No one knew to whom they belonged. And this is the flag that was given to my, my great-grandmother um, mm -hmm. when they first um, told him that he passed away. In 1952, an organization that recovered fallen servicemen retrieved Jack's remains and buried them in Belgium but they still could not be identified. They were brought to an American lab in 2021 and matched to mitochondrial DNA provided by Chanel and her mother. And they asked if we could do DNA sampling. So we said, of course, you know, anything to bring him home. Wow. And I think he's got some notes. You guys have some very special items yeah, here. We sure do. Until now, these artifacts and an empty grave at Willow Cemetery are all the family has of Uncle Jack, the hero they never met. I mean, it's been almost 80 years and that, that headstone's still there and it's empty and it's not going to be anymore. Well, this begins a very special process for Jack's family and our community that you can be a part of. His family tells me there will be a ceremony for him on Memorial Day at Clay High School where Jack graduated in 1941. They're also planning a family reunion and funeral with full military honors for later this year. So we'll keep you posted on when that is so you can pay respects if you would like. We also talked to the agency responsible for identifying Staff Sergeant Coy's remains. The Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency says since it's formed in 2015, it's identified nearly 1,500 remains. But the mission started back in the 70s and has reunited 3,300 families with their fallen service members. It's a monumental task with more than 81,000 still identified of those 42,000 cannot be recovered because they were shot down or are sunken in the ocean. The spokesperson for the DPPA says it is an honor for everyone involved to bring this closure. When a service member raises their right hand and swears their oath to the United States and to the United States military, they are prepared to pay that ultimate price of, of their life. One of the promises that the United States makes in return to that service member is to never leave them behind and to bring them home to their family if they do happen to fall in battle. Staff Sergeant Coy's remains are at a lab in Nebraska. Once his family makes funeral arrangements, we're told a military member will escort him home to Oregon.